Who wants to go live one hour before the stock market opens tomorrow? What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an, an amazing day. I just recapped one of my trades with the LPP team. And before we even talk about that, tomorrow, one hour before the market opens, which is Thursday, December 22nd. Let me make sure you understand this. We definitely do not have to. I don't necessarily want to wake up one hour before the market opens just to go live. But I will, if this video gets over 1500 likes, if you would like me to go live, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you uh, click that um, the bell uh, as that turns on your post notifications. That will alert you when it is that I go live. Why should we go live one hour before the market opens? There's a GDP report, GDP third estimate that's going to be reported. This is one hour before the market opens. We have the initial claims report. This is the unemployment report for the first time of people that have reported for the first time, right? So that's initial claims and then continuing claims, the people that have filed for unemployment time and time again, right? These are pretty significant reports, especially that GDP report. And these will all be reported one hour before the market opens. Initial claims, continuing claims, and of course, that GDP report. Following that, we have leading economic index, not very important. And then the EIA natural gas inventory report, again, not very important for the overall market. But again, my job is just to make you guys aware of those economic reports. So if you would like me to host that live stream, get this video to over 1500 likes before tomorrow's one hour before the market opens. And I'd be more than happy to host that free live session for you guys. So again, uh, during my live trading session with the Learn Plan Profit Group, uh, absolutely amazing. One of the things that I have been really trying to focus on with my LPP team is trying to limit the time that we have an open position, an open day trade, right? If your intention is to invest, that's a completely different approach. I have long-term investments that I won't touch, right? I will only add more to it when an opportunity presents itself. But I am talking about day trading, right? One of the things that I like to do, and again, I just want to share this with you guys. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think. I like to see where would have been the most effective and efficient time to enter and to really exit is, is the main focus of this, right? Because if you have an open day trade, an open position, any open position is a position that's open to risk. So really as a day trader, I'm really trying to limit the time that I actually have that open position, right? And when looking back, it's I mean, I'm never gonna get this perfectly, right? But when looking back, I could see that about two hours after the market it opens it tells you the time right here market opens uh it's set on eastern standard time so it opens at 9 30 and then we peaked uh right around 11 15 so around one hour and 45 minutes after the market opened pretty much two hours right we showed signs of really peaking. We hit highs of 1919, and then we pulled on back to the moving average, and then we continued to rally. This is on the five minute time frame. We went back to retest it, and I made sure my Learn Plan Profit Group was aware of this. I made sure that when we retested 1919, all I was talking to them about was progress. Hey, are we showing signs of continuous progress and progression on that price point? And if not, right, if it continues to try to bounce and hit highs of 1919, then why do I still have that day trade that I opened down here? Why am I still holding it while it's bouncing around here, but not showing any progress, right? This is what I'm talking about. I'm trying to limit the time that I have an open position. So yes, from 1919, I mean, we are, our overall highs on the day are 1925, but that's not much of a difference. I mean, we're talking about six cents there. I don't care about that. I, mean, I will never be a perfect trader, but one of the things I can always work on is refining how long and how much time I spend with an open position. Because I know, I, at least I can only speak from my experience, but I know firsthand that there's been many times that I wait, right? Because I want something to happen. I wanted this thing to break above 1930. I wanted it to make higher highs. It doesn't matter what I want. It doesn't matter what I hope for. It doesn't matter what I dream for, right? If I see obvious signs of resistance and then we try again and then we get rejected again and then we try again, but we don't really show much progress at that point, that should be telling me something of like, hey, we're not showing much progress beyond this resistance range, right? That means that this might be the peak. And the more that it continues to retest that level, the weaker the recovery can potentially be. So therefore, Again, I need to make sure that even on the second time, and I made sure I, I told my learn plan profit group, I made sure that I made them aware of that resistance level because again, if, if I continued uh, to hold, I would have given it all back, right? And yes, I mean, it's still within the same range. It's still bullish. It's still holding above that moving average. So we're doing just fine. I mean, TQQQ is still very bullish on the day, but again, the whole purpose of this is to look back 
and and see what I could have done better. And I'm very grateful that I was so focused on progress because right when I saw that he got rejected once again, right around 1919, we went back to retest that EMA line. We went back to retest that resistance level. We did make new highs. The progress wasn't very high and then it pulled on back. So it was very easy to see that as soon as we saw that triple resistance, I mean, I should have been able to see it right at that second time that at that point, I should have closed out my day trade. And again, if the opportunity represents itself, if we actually make higher highs, then great. I can always go ahead and re-enter that position. That's the beautiful thing about day trading is that just because you sell doesn't mean that you can't buy again. Of course, if you're under the PDT rule, you're just using another day trade, but I'm not under the PDT rule. So that should never be a reason on why I'm scared of locking in profits or reducing my position size when there's obvious signs of that resistance level. So I just wanted to circle back and remind you that it's always a good idea, even if you do have a successful trade, of looking back at your trades, looking back at how the day played out, and ask yourself, what could I have done better? Could I have not been open in the market with an open position? You know, could I, could I have been a little bit more efficient with my entries and my exits instead of spending so much time in the market and just yeah closing it you know at market open and i entered at, at mark if i opened it at market open and then closed it at market close then at that point it's like you know i was really just kind of going with the flow what could i have done more efficiently right and i think that's what i'm really grateful for where you know because we have such a big focus on progress and because we understand that any open position is a position that's open to risk it's very easy to look back and to see that hey uh within well what is this this is 1310 uh which is uh three no this is four hours after the market open it was very easy for me to be able to see four hours after of like hey we're showing signs of no progress here tread lightly, be careful, watch that position. And that's exactly what I sent to my learn plan profit group. Literally, if I'm not mistaken, around four to five hours after the market opened because it was very easy for me to be able to see this. So um, I really do appreciate you guys' time. Just wanted to recap my overall trade. Wanted to make you guys aware of the series of economic reports that are set to be released tomorrow. And again, I'd be more than happy to host that live stream. All you literally have to do is drop a thumbs up on the channel and make sure you subscribe and I'll take care of the rest. So I hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Don't forget, again, if you want to watch me trade live every single day, especially if you're tired of guessing, Again, I trade live with my Learn Plan Profit Group every single morning, right? So they get access to the A to Z video lesson library, the daily live trading sessions, the private group chat, and access to the Tech with HQ. It's all inclusive. It's the only thing that I offer, and it's a one-time payment. And yes, it's lifetime access. And right now we're running our biggest sale, and that's $150 off. And that's that second link in the description. If you sign up by today, you can watch me trade live by tomorrow right at market open. Uh, other than that, again, we are hosting our Christmas giveaway we have two prizes to give away that's the ipad and the ps5 and then the grand prize of five uh, i'm sorry two thousand dollars if you want to learn more about our christmas giveaway make sure you click the fourth link in the description and again if you have any questions feel free to send me a direct message via discord and that's that first link down below i appreciate your time like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take it easy team